Welcome back, guys. Today's y'all's run, your signature run, your mash. Hopefully, it's worked out. Pennsylvania hazelnut, some Hawaiian kakui, and some Texas pecans. We want some of the best tasting nut based spirit we've ever witnessed. Y'all have the same basic steel set up here. Yeah, this is about as simple a setup as it gets. The winner of this round gets first choice in the steel house to pick parts. Your four hours starts now. Pretty well count on if it tastes all right and it smells all right, it's going to make liquor and it's going to make pretty good liquor. You're in good shape. Oh, my mash didn't make nothing. It didn't work off the way it should have. I was really worried with the amount of alcohol my mash produced. What happened? I, I think it could have been yeast that I used. Very well, maybe. I counted more for warmer weather yeast, and the nights down here dropped down into the 70s. Yeah, no, we're not in Hawaii. I'm hoping that I can still pull out good tasting 100 proof liquor. Let's see what happens. Frank, how you feel about your mash, buddy? It's starting to go bitter. There's yeah. some alcohol in it. I think I'll be able to be all right. I am very happy with the mash. I'm feeling great. Well, if it comes out right, it'd be like a slice of grandma's pecan pie. Amanda, do you feel all right about your mash? I do. I think it tastes good. Has some good alcohol in there. It's kind of mild. It's not really, no, really hazelnutty. it's not hazelnut a heavy, nutty flavor. Hazelnut's almost like a subtle flavor, and you have to really work with it to bring it out. I'm hoping just to, like, predominantly let the hazelnut shine. Folks, y'all got three hours left. Where are you at? 190, 189. Woo! All right, we got liquor running over here, guys. All right, Frank. You got heads running over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're already running the filter in yours? Oh, yeah. Always filter. It's something. Put some of those roasted pecans in my filter with a little bit of charred oak. Figured it'd give it just a little more flavor. I mean, yes, a lot like the 11 herbs and spices. You're on to something, Frank. Like the water, Frank. It looks like it's already been aged. Too bad I can't hand that in, because that is pretty. Yeah, we're off. I am right behind you. You're in it? Yes. Ooh, that does smell nutty. I couldn't smell it in the mash. It's coming out. Oh, yeah. Getting into the heads. Running the pace I'm running, I'm gonna need three more hours. Mine's getting higher now. Now, you realize those steel pots have got a hook in the I cap. know, I saw that now. The nuts are really interesting to work with because over time, they impart more flavors, butteriness, they become more complex and nutty. Have you got it hooked inside? Yeah. Definitely a challenge to work with. Should be good. OK. Thank you, sir. But it's a rewarding end result. Well, what flavors you plan on pulling out of that? There's a little bit of vanilla in the bag and Keiko nib for smoothness and fermented hazelnuts. It'll even raise my ABV a little bit and grab onto a little bit of those flavors as it comes out. That's what I'm hoping for. It'd be awful to make them hazelnut liquor come out tasting like cantaloupe, wouldn't it? That would be awful. One hour left, guys. Didn't produce as much as I thought, or I hoped I would. I'll be lucky, like, jar, jar and a half-ish. Yeah, we're not judging quantity. We want quality. Of course, the more you can get, I'm sure that'll help you for your next challenge. You didn't use all your mash. I still got about a gallon and a half. Now, I think I'm going to save some. I'm saving some from a thumper. Yeah. That's what, that's what all that's going is, end of the thumper. Guys, you got 30 minutes left. Damn. I'm trying to run through some tails. Your flavor is in the tails. Man, it's got a, a line of jaws over there. Yep, she's making fine out cuts. Yep, I'm just about done. Frank, good looking jars. Thank you, sir. Uh, I was able to get a good run out of it. See, I ended up with uh, six jars. 10 minutes, guys. I'm pretty sure we're going to get a, a three different complete tastes. Mm hmm. I hope so. I bet it's going to have a nutty flavor. You think? I hope so. It's lower proof than I'd like. I think of a little bit less alcohol than I was expecting to get out of mine, too. It seems a little bit lower than what I'm used to. I ain't got much. We only need one. There it is, guys. Is that it, Frank? That's it. Here you go, guys. All right, All right. Amanda. Beggars can't be choosers. Ain't the fullest one. All right, buddy. Thank you. Good luck, Good luck. Buddy. Good luck. Let's start with Frank. Lay it to it. Now Frank's the pecan. Nice, pretty, clear job. That is outstanding looking. And Frank's got some proofy. Yeah. Got a pretty pecan, good nose no on it. Got Texas. a wonderful nose on it. Like a bakery smell is what I'm getting. As far as proofing down, 
Uh, I didn't proof it down too deck gum much because I, I like it hot. Wow. That's got some power in it. Son of a biscuit. Damn That's it, man. Good. Never tasted nothing like that before. That is good. No, but I'd like to have me 100 gallons of it. Man pulls something out like that, he ought to be nicknamed Houdini. All right, Amanda. Bully. Mm. Bingo. 100 proof hazelnut. As long as I give you at least 100 and still make it taste good, you know, I'm happy with, with what I turned in. Oh, are you me? That's got a fruity smell. Sweet, fruity smell. Damn, that smells good. Oh, boy. Y'all in trouble. The hazelnut boys are in trouble. I can see you that right now. You're damn right. I'll take it, too. When it's good, I'll tip my hat. Looks good, smells good, tastes good. Let's try Jonathan's. All right. I mean, he didn't make much. I don't know whether the Kukui's didn't put out enough Apparently, or what. Apparently, Kukui nut don't put out a whole lot. I mean, I'm looking at a whole lot of jaw here, not a lot of liquid. I bet money it ain't over 70 proof. No, it may be it may be 60 proof. It smells liquory, though. Well, it's got a smell. So does the damn sky. I think I produce low volume of alcohol, whereas using yeast that I normally use in Hawaii, and we don't really have the cold temperature at night, I think that might have stalled me out. Wow. It wow. ain't a bad taste. Nothing That's wrong with the flavor. A smooth peanut butter flavor. Good smell, good taste profile. He just forgot to put the alcohol in it. If that was 100 proof, it'd be top notch. Nature is as nature does. And nature is a mother. Yep. This is the first step in where they're going to end up. If it gets any better than that, well, I may have to go see a marriage counselor. If it gets any better, I don't know if I can stand it. All right, boys. I think I'm going to go yeah. fetch them. Good. Welcome back, guys. We have tasted some of the best liquor to date in the history of this show. I'll start with you, Amanda. Super good job. Flavor, set well on the tongue, good proof. You were in the neighborhood of 100 proof. We're hard to sell on hazelnut liquor. Matter of fact, we might feel a tiny bit threatened. Jonathan, flavor like we'd never tasted before. The flavor is killer good. Them kukui nuts, I don't know that I've ever even seen one in my life, but uh, yours is the lowest proof of the three. Frank, pecan. Terrific job, Frank. The liquor was so tasty, smooth. A lot of that nut flavor came through. And Frank, I've seen a little pecan liquor, but you took the cake on it. A little higher on the proof than what we were looking for. It was still damn fine. Congratulations to each and every one of you.